I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome to the Underground Laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And sometimes we work on comics and we are going to be working on a lot of comics in the future because today is day one of 100 days of making comics. Round two for me. So what is 100 days of making comics? Well, 100 days of making comics was started by Kevin Cross who created this guy, Monkey Mod, from the Monkey Mod and Friends show. I'll leave a link below. You can check him out. But I have a, have a hint. I mean, I have an inkling, a, an idea that you probably, you probably know who that is. But if you don't, definitely check out his, his challenges. He's done it like four times already. I'm only on number two, so I've got some catching up to do. But this is the perfect opportunity to do that because... Well, first, let me, let me explain to you what 100 Days of Making Comics is all about. 100 Days of Making Comics is where you spend 30 minutes a day every day to work on your own comic book project. So for me, my comic book project is this, Young and the Dead. These are the first three issues. I'm going to be starting issue number four, but these are the first three issues that are available at my website at circworks.com. You can get these. So I'm going to be spending 30 minutes a day every day making time, whatever time there is in my busy schedule, to work on my own personal comic book project. And that's what you guys need to do if you're thinking about joining this challenge. And I would employ you guys to do that because it's really changed the way I do it, the way I create comics and everything. And I can't believe it's taken so long for me to get back to that, which is... Let's get this, we get the Sharpie out, the big Sharpie. Let's see, where are we at right now? So, we are at day one. Okay, so, what does that mean? All right, so I know this may be a little complicated because I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you. 100 days of making comics, round two, issue four, 30 minutes, that's a lot of numbers. But basically what you have to understand is that once this number gets to this number, we are done. And hopefully we've done a lot of work on our comic book. We've come a long way and with any luck, uh, well, some people might might finish their comic book in that 100 days. I don't know, I haven't been able to do that yet, but hey, that's something to shoot for. And to think of it, now that I'm thinking about it, you know, spending only 30 minutes a day, you might not get a full comic book done, depending on the comic book you're doing, what size it is and, and your art style and all that. Um, but we do have some technology here in the underground lair that's going to help me out anyway. I wish, I wish I could share it with you, but it's kind of, you know, it's all hush-hush and very confidential. Um, but we have invented all kinds of things. One of the things we invented is this, the Parallelscope, which allows us to view parallel universes, al alternate realities where I can go to a different, different dimension where someone just like me or me in another dimension is working on this comic book project. And we can tune into so many different dimensions that we can kind of multiply our efforts. So hopefully we can get this thing done. But in order to do that, we've got to go to the Parallelscope and check in and see what's happening on this first 100 days of making comics. Let's go to it. Here we go, once again, uh, beginning another chapter in Young and the Dead, my comic book series. And, you know, I've done three issues of this book and it still, it doesn't matter. Each time you start a new issue, there's these like fears and things like, oh, am I gonna be able to do it again <laughs> or whatever? But yeah, I'm committed and I t it seems like it took such a long break and it's it's been a while since I've, I've been at the comic. Not that I haven't been doing anything. I'm doing all kinds of cool stuff, but uh, the comic is one of those things just because comics are that labor of love and they're not really, they don't really bring in tons of money. I did all right with the Kickstarter and everything and that was great and thanks to everyone that contributed. Um, that was super cool, but now I gotta get back and I gotta continue the story because I can't, I, I have to tell it. So we are sort of in the middle stage right now as we wrapped up issue three, that's kind of the middle point. So we've got, I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have another three issues to go. Uh, so, you know, where do you start after after it's been so, so long since I've done anything with it? So that's kind of what I've been doing today. I've been actually going back and rereading the first three issues and just finding out, making, there's there's some things in the story that I'm trying to address and, I'm, and I know I'm kind of being cryptic and I apologize for that, but I have to go back and check and make sure that it, it pans out. Things that I've kind of, some seeds that I've kind of dropped along the way and make sure that I did that correctly because I'm really, I'm really, you know, concerned about like, oh, is that going to be a plot hole or something? And I'm sure like with everything, you're going to miss something. It's almost impossible to write something and not have any, you know, 
and not have somebody be able to go through and go, well, why is this? That shouldn't happen. I mean, it's just, it's very difficult. If any movie you watch, I don't think there's a movie you can watch where you, you can't kind of pick apart, but, uh, but we're on the movies and not comics. This is about comics, but anyway, so what I'm doing is I got right here on my iPad, I've got my Evernote, so I've been going through all my notes. I've got, you know, I've sort of got the ending planned out and I have a progression that goes towards that. There's still a lot of fill in the blank type things that I'm doing right now. So, you know, as far as my 30 minutes today or over 30 minutes, that's what I've been doing, kind of going over everything, writing some little notes, and uh, just trying to, you know, brainstorm and, you know, there's there's new aspects that I want to introduce and I'm still thinking of, well, what else can I do here? And also, because I've, I have some of this spelled out, I'm like, what's going to fit? What, what part of that story is going to fit in this issue and what might need to carry on to the next issue? So that's what I'm working on today for day one of 100 days of making comics and, uh, it's it's kind of this is the slog where you're you're starting off and everything, but hopefully things will get moving and you know of course everyone wants to get to drawing and that's I'd like to get to that too, but uh, in due time in due time. But I got to get back to kind of beginning these you know working all this stuff out. So that's <laughs> that's day one I guess. Something a little different that I wanted to do with this round of uh, 100 Days of Maiden Comics was kind of intercut some. Some of my everyday life, Com making comics is a big part of my life, so when I bring you into that, I kind of wanted to show you some of the other stuff that goes on. This is uh, just me out with uh, my girlfriend's family. Her cousin was in town. He's uh, he's an editor and producer on some pretty big shows uh, out in L.A. Uh, Transparent, which has won some Emmys, and another show with Ted Danson and Christian, Kristen Bell, I think. I don't know the name of it, but um, but yeah, it was it was nice night out, and uh, of course. Chinese, you gotta get a gotta get a fortune cookie, and this one really seemed fitting considering what we're starting here with this uh, brand new round of 100 Days of Making Comics. And there you have it. Day one is down. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in the trash. That's the end of day one. Join us tomorrow for day two. I'll see you then. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process, now you can check out the story. Issues 1 through 3 of Young and the Dead are available at my website at circworks.com. Also follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in the series. There's much more to come.